Alright, so we're back with the uh, 3D Revolve object, our uh, wine bottle, and I've created a very quick label for our wine bottle, and I want you to look at the layers really fast, because what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a symbol, and I want you to see what happens when you convert something that has multiple sub-layers into a symbol. So I have the text in one layer, and then I have the rectangle in another layer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this layer right here by dragging it into the Create New Layer. And now I have two versions of this. I'm going to lock and hide the original one. Let me call this Original Label. And this one right here, I'm going to call it Simple. Perfect. So we are going to be using the appearance palette to map our artwork into this 3D Revolve. But first, what we need to do is create a symbol for this label. So if I go to Symbol and I select this label right here, and remember, I have the text in one layer and the rectangle right below that layer. If I click on the new symbol icon, it's going to ask me to label it. So I'm going to call it label underscore one. I'm going to export the type as a graphic and I'm going to leave everything the way it is. And I'm going to hit OK. It has created a symbol based on our image. Now, if we go to layers, what I want you guys to notice is that by creating that into a symbol, it has merged the text layer and the rectangle into one object. Again, because we duplicated it from the original label, right? What I can do is go to the original, make my adjustments on the lettering and on the graphic, and then I can create a duplicate and convert that duplicate into a new symbol by going to symbol, selecting it, and hitting on the new symbol icon at the bottom right. Okay, now that we have a symbol created, we are going to go to Appearance, and I'm going to select the object, and I'm going to open the 3D Revolve attribute. And again, what is the first thing that we need to do? We need to click on the Preview. Then we're going to go to Map Artwork. As you can see, we have access to our symbols right here on the top left, right? And I'm going to select the label one. And I can click on scale to fit. So it will fit the image into the surface. I'm going to hit clear because this is not the right surface for us. I'm going to navigate to surface 12 of 16. Let me make this window bigger. And again, I'm going to select label one. And as you can see, it has placed our label one on our bottle. So now if I hit OK, I can rotate this object. And we can see where the label is. Now, if we want to adjust our label, we again go to 3D Revolve immediately click on preview go to map art find where the label is for example let me make this window bigger so we can see the label and I'm going to shrink this one side by holding the shift key so that the label is proportional and what I can do I can make the label go to the back and I'm going to hit OK. And now when I rotate my bottle, you will notice that the label goes all the way around to the back. Again, to adjust it, Go to Map Art, shrink your label, 
and hit OK. I'm going to go to wireframe and then immediately go to plastic shading. I'm going to reposition my bottle and I'm going to hit OK.